Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. Um, this video is part one in the series of how to make the granny square dress. So in this video, I'm going to be showing the tools you need. I'm going to be showing how to take your measurements and um, how to do the math to tell you how many granny squares you need. Um, so keep watching. I'm going to go over each area step by step. All right, so the first things that I'm going to tell you is what you need to make this granny square dress. Now, what you need is, of course, you'll need yarn. What I've used is a worsted weight four yarn, and um, the red heart should be fine, or, or whatever you have that you like should be fine. And in reality, you can use any yarn that you wish, but if you want it to come out the same as mine with the same design and the same colors, that's what I've used. So I've used one, two, three, four different colors of yarn here. Again, it's very versatile and you can use whatever colors you want and you can use all the same color if you want to, but this is just what I've used. Now the crochet hook I'm using for the worsted weight four is the five millimeter hook right here. So this is what I'll be crocheting every single little bit of this with. You're also going to need some scissors, and I've just got my little handy dandy scissors here. You're going to need a yarn needle to sew in your ends, and you're also going to need a measuring tape because we are unfortunately going to do some math here. <laughs> so these are all the tools that you will need to get you started, um, and have fun crocheting the the amount of yarn that you're going to need, the amount of skins, is really going to depend on what size that you're making this. So it's very, very variable. It, it's not all going to be the same for everyone. So that's really hard to tell you how much you're going to need. You can really customize this for a child. You can make the square smaller. You could use a smaller hook or you could, you know, make it larger and you could use a larger hook. So, so it's very versatile. So it's hard for me to tell you how much you're going to need, but I would start out with at least one skin of each color. All right, guys, so the next step here is going to be measuring. So here I'm just going to take my measuring tape, and this is, I'm just measuring my dress form here. This is not the size I'm actually going to make, but here I'm measuring my dress form, and I can see I've got about 42 inches there. So... 42 inches is about how much I'm going to need because I'm going to have my squares go around this top portion right here. So my squares are approximately five inches. So here I'll show you right here my squares. Approximately five inches there. Just a hair more than five inches. So at five inches, I would be comfortable making about eight squares because that is 40 inches. So I've only got two more inches. And the one nice thing about crochet, as you can see, it does a great job at stretching and we will also make up a little bit when we sew it together. So I'm comfortable with the 40 inches for this model right here. Now, in reality, I've got to do 35 and a half inches. So 35 and a half inches is actually going to be seven squares that I'll be making and connecting. And um, then after you do that, we're going to sew them all together, all the way around. We're going to make some straps for the upper part and we're going to connect down here. We're going to make a little ribbon here that will connect to the bottom part. And then the bottom part, we're gonna also do granny squares. And I'll tell you how to measure for that in just a second. So I wanted to go ahead and um, tell you how I figured out how to how many granny squares to get the bottom. And there's a couple of different ways you can do this. So around the top, I thought I was going to need seven squares, but I actually needed six after I got them all put together. And what I wanted to happen, what my daughter wanted to happen, was she wanted the waist cinch just a little bit. And then from there, um, I did some decreases around the waist. And of course, I'll explain um, to you how to do all of this in each individual video but um, I knew that she wanted the skirt to kind of flare just a little bit or go out a little bit larger than what um, the top went out and what the waist went so I decided to add two more squares 
around each row. So what I ended up doing was I ended up doing six squares around the top and then eight squares per row around the bottom. So, and I did three rows, so it's just above the knee there. And the three rows of eight came out to 24 squares that I needed for the bottom and plus the six squares that I needed for the top. So that ended up equaling 30 granny squares total that I needed. Now, if you wanted to, you don't have to um, make the waist go in or make the skirt flare. You could just make the same amount of granny squares for each section if you wanted to. But I really thought it was cute looking like this. That's why I decided to um, make to make more granny squares on the bottom than on the top and um, doing the two extra on each row on the bottom uh, made sense to me because it added a little bit of flare but not too much flare. It really is imperative that you watch this video so you know um, everything that you need to make the dress and um, how to kind of follow the step-by-step -step instructions. So next, the next videos I'm actually going to be hands-on showing you actually how to make the dress. So again, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and I hope you love making this granny square dress. Thanks for watching.